I want to thank you for checking out my YouTube video and I'm going to take a little drive through the west side of Detroit at night and it's Wednesday it's about 50 degrees out that's the train station I'm right by 14th and 75 and stay till the end of the video because I'm going to show you one of the big construction projects that Detroit's doing right now that's really going to have a big impact on the city and we're going to start to drive but if you're familiar with Detroit I'm going to take Michigan Avenue to like Junction and then Junction all the way down to West Jefferson and then that'll be towards that project I was talking about so if you like this video at the end please like and any comments drive and talk at the same time but this is like five seven eight minutes at the most from downtown Detroit but if you ever come here like on the left and on the right you know you have a couple places that you can eat at like right over here that turquoise is pretty good the other places I can't really really say but from what I hear they're good I've just never been there so this is actually Michigan Avenue. Well, see that? You always gotta watch for people. But anyways, this is Michigan Avenue in Detroit. I think that was a little bit closer than I thought. It's very, it's, it's still pretty quiet. You know, it's, it's March 16th. But it was almost 60 degrees out, which is really good for us. So there were a lot of people out there. You know, you have a motorcyclist right here. You're going to see people riding motorcycles and stuff a lot in the city now. So now we're going like away from downtown. Yeah, people are going to start driving fast. See the highway men right there. That's a big motorcycle club, you should say, you could say. Yeah, people drive really fast out here. But anyways, like I said, it was about 60 degrees here, so there was a lot of people out. So people are really excited here about for the summer. It's been a really, really hard winter for a lot of people, even a little bit for myself, for everybody here, so. I'm just looking forward to They had to have seen me doing the YouTube video because that's even something that you don't really see well you do actually see a lot of that but not a lot you know what I mean I'm glad I got that on the YouTube but anyways this is, we're going into Southwest Detroit right now. And I still uh, can't believe I got that. But anyways, going away from downtown. One of the things about driving in Detroit at night that I can honestly say that I hope changes is that people do drive careless out here. And you do have to be careful. You know, and like right here, we're coming up on Junction. And this is a pretty, pretty dangerous part of Detroit. You know, I'm in a car right now, and I know 29th, 30th, these are the streets right here. But if you're not from here, I wouldn't come around here at night. But during the day, you have some restaurants straight ahead. You know, Michigan Avenue's got a... Wow. Driving really wild. See him up there? That's crazy how he's driving like that. But this is Junction right here. See how fast they drive? Wow, really dangerous driving. But anyways, this is Junction. And now we're getting like more into the neighborhood, Southwest Detroit. You don't really have a lot over here as far as like for tourism. This is mainly like where the people, you know, live. 
you have little markets and stuff like that. You know, obviously like a church, stores, but nothing really for, for a tourist. Detroit's got a bad reputation, you know, as being a very dangerous city, and it is. But you know, there's parts like this. Right now, it's 9:30 at night on a Wednesday night, and you know, I don't, I, I don't feel danger over here. And there are some dangerous areas, but you know, you keep to yourself, and you won't have a lot of problem. Most of the issues with people in Detroit, you know, you gotta, you gotta go out of your way, you know, to to, to get into some problems, in my opinion. Anyways, this is just uh, you have some artwork. Yeah, I'm glad I got that those videos of that car. But that just goes to show you, you know, you never know what could happen. You know, even before that, that car came out, almost hit me. So you always got to keep your eyes open wherever you're driving. Supermercado. A lot of Spanish people over here. So this is Junction in Toledo. All right, Los Corrales. I've never eaten at that restaurant, but you know you have some restaurants up here. I still can't believe people drive like that. And uh, it looks cool, but it's actually very reckless, you know, at the same time. And I thought I saw something, but anyways. But people are gonna be people and people are gonna have a good time. And you know, right about end of March, April here in Detroit, people start getting a little bit wild, you know, cause people get so used to being inside in the winter time and you know, you get a lot of good times ahead. A lot more YouTube videos, but anyways. And see the green flashing lights? That's like a, a green light thing that the city does. They have cameras that are connected, I believe, to the police departments or, or a major police department. But if you ever get like in trouble in the city of Detroit, I guess you, you go to where those green lights are and the cameras can see you and they can send an officer. And uh, it's not, it's effective, but it hasn't been 100% effective because, you know, from what I've heard and seen that people still commit crimes and get away with crimes even though those lights exist but I know I'm pretty sure they do help the city in some way but anyways this is still Junction a lot of construction going on in the city too road construction a couple new buildings and a lot of road construction in the summertime too here. So this is a stop sign right here. This is actually 75, I-75, you can't really see. Oh, actually, I'll, I hate that squeaking. That's, see downtown Detroit right there? And the Ambassador Bridge, and all those cars coming towards me, that's 75 South. It's got a beautiful skyline. It's red lights, 4th Street. But I'm gonna go all the way down the end. Then make a right. And I'm gonna show you that, that project that I was talking about in the beginning. It's a big project that the city of Detroit's doing. I believe it's one of the top 10 mega projects in the United States right now. I'm not 100% sure. A lot of trucks. We'll pass them. But they tore down. Oof. That squeaking was my window. You won't hear it anymore. But anyways, they tore down. This is Del Rey. They tore down a lot of houses and buildings in this part of Detroit, it's pretty abandoned for this project that I'm gonna show you here in about two minutes. This is gonna be about a 15 minute YouTube video. 
But anyways, they tore down a lot of houses, a lot of buildings for this air, uh, for this project. You know, back in the day, a lot of, a lot of Hungarian, a lot of Polish people used to live here, you know, back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And you still have a couple people that live around here off of Dearborn in, in Delray. But most of the people have left the area, went to other parts of Detroit. I know the city built a complex for a lot of people, the older residents, and they all live there. <coughs> but this is West Jefferson, obviously pretty abandoned because they, on the right, they that was those were all neighborhoods. They tore it all down, and those lights you can see at the distance, that's going to be a customs building, U.S. Customs building. So, should give you a little bit of a hint as to what I'm going to show you. got like a historic Fort Wayne over there during the weekends they have that open they've had uh, a lot of uh, you can't really see anything but anyways uh, Saturdays and Sundays they're open and it's uh, something to check out very historical now I'm pretty sure I can go back here without security at night but I really want to show you this, uh, oof, got some really rough roads here. But anyways, I really want to show you this project and it's going to be right up here to the left. It's going to be a big thing for the city of Detroit and it's supposed to be done at the end of 